Kevin Pressure. I've been with uh, CTS, Center for Transportation Safety, since uh, 2014. Uh, the main thing I want to teach them is not only just how to drive a truck, but how to do it safely. So they come home when it's time to come home and everybody's safe on the road. Well, with the new changes in technology these days, it's even more exciting than ever because before, like in the 90s when I drove, we had maybe a TV in the truck. Now you can have your cell phone and your, your stuff, everything is streaming digital and you've got GPS. Times are changing to where you don't even have to think as much anymore, but it just makes it that much more fun. But you can see what traffic's doing ahead of you now with your GPS and it's not the same as it used to be. Hopefully it's better, I think it's better. A three week class, uh, Monday through Friday, eight to six. So uh, it's pretty intense, but it's gonna be like a two to one, three to one ratio. We work pretty much hands on with you and we're right there with you the whole way. This has been a long time coming to bring a truck driving school to this part of the state. Along the way, we applied for federal financial aid, Title IV funding, and that is still pending. But along the way, we partnered with Work One, and Jade will talk in a little while. We have some Work One funding available. We have employer training funding available. So we didn't have for the fall semester our Title IV funding, which is Pell Grant available. So we talked to local employers who had money, like Dot Foods. Becky at Dot Foods has been my partner all through this. Randy Timlin at Dot Foods, Ashley at Dot Foods have been great partners through all this. So they train two dozen drivers a year thereabouts. They'll talk in a minute more about that. And they said, well, we'll get you some guys and we'll start our first class. So we have two dot food employees over here. And maybe I can get them to talk in a little while too. They're our first class. Our very first class here at Ivy Tech Connorsville for our CDL program, truck driving school or dot food employees. We could be out here. Uh, Center for Transportation Safety, CTS Driving Academy. We've been in this industry about 21 years now. I've been here 18 of those 21 years. And uh, we've trained literally thousands of drivers over the years nationwide. But we started out as a corporate to corporate trainer, uh, which we still are today. We do a lot of corporate, corporate training. But uh, we extended our partnership to the schools uh, about four and a half, almost five years ago now because we saw what you're seeing. There's a huge shortage of drivers in the United States. Uh, estimated now anywhere between 63 to 72,000, depending upon who you talk to. And uh, something has to be done. And the only way to do that is to get all of the communities together, get the companies together, and let's find a way to resolve this issue as a team. Dot Foods is a family-owned business. We've been around since 1960. We're about a seven and a half billion dollar company. And when I went to work for Dot almost 20 years ago, we were about 120 million. And our biggest challenge for growth right now is hiring drivers. There's a national shortage, as Jim just said, there's a driver national shortage and salaries for drivers continue to go up. And there's a reason for that, not just because we like them more than anybody else, because supply and demand. And it's a great, great field for people to go in. We've got a few uh, dot hires over here. One individual came from our warehouse, which we're really excited about. So we're very excited about, about the Connersville facility as well because it's professional they're going to do a great job and we like connorsville we have a lot of employees right now at dot foods from connorsville area uh, work ethic is really good and we're not too far from our plant we're only about 12 miles up the road so. we're really excited as randy expressed working with ron and ivy tech and we have what we call the earn to learn program so what that is if um, employee you know people in the area are interested in obtaining their cdl they can apply with us, and then we've partnered with Work One, and I think Jade's going to talk here in a little bit. We've partnered with Work One. We've also got funding from um, the Economic Development Corporation, and both here in Wayne County and in the state. And we've also got the Next Level Jobs Grant. So what we can do is we can help with funding to send someone to Ivy Tech um, to the driving school here, and while they're in school, we'll, they'll become an employee of Dot Foods Day One, and we'll pay them $500 a week while they're in school. And then once they graduate and get their hazmat and their tanker endorsement, their CDL, they'll come to work as a driver for DOT. So then they're a DOT employee day one of school, but they become a DOT driver after graduation. And then they earn $750 a week while they're in our 10 week training program. So we have great opportunities. Um, we have an experienced driver package also. So we've got um, opportunities for someone that currently has their CDL also. So. Um, we can't wait to work with Ron. We put two of our students in classes this, this last week, 
and we're excited for the growth for Connorsville and for Ivy Tech. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jeff Armstrong. I spent the last 10 years in the retail automotive industry. And the last few years, that industry has taken a downturn and I wanted a career that was going to be steady where I knew I was always gonna have work. So obviously I chose the trucking industry and thanks to DOT, uh, if it wasn't for DOT, I would not be here. Uh, to tell you a little bit, little bit about our range, um, Kevin, our instructor, he has been teaching us some uh, par uh, parallel parking, straight parking, and uh, some offset parking. Uh, I'm the type of guy I thought I could just hop in an 18 wheeler and drive down the road. That's definitely not the case. But uh, it's been a great program, very thankful to be in it. Learn a lot of the safety aspects of driving, uh, driving a big rig and uh, even just the uh, basic driving skills. But uh, thank you guys, really enjoying it. Thank you, Aaron. So my name's Aaron Ralston. I've been with uh, DOT for three years now. Uh, it's a really good company to work for. I'm really happy to say that I work for DOT. Um, and then I just decided that I wanted to change careers and be a truck driver. I have a lot of truck drivers in my family and took the plunge and changed careers and I'm really happy with it so far. Um, Work One does want to thank Ivy Tech for letting us be here today. We do offer a lot of different things. A lot of people think we're just the unemployment office where people come to file unemployment, but it's so much more than that. We actually don't help a lot with unemployment. We're technically the employment office where we offer a lot of different services to help people either find jobs or to further their career and education. So we do have a pool of money called Work Indiana Funding that we can use for people that, if they meet the criteria, that we can use to help them get the certifications they need for their future careers, which would include the CDL. I actually have a client right now that I'm trying to get into the next CDL class in November. So I'm trying to help him out. I'm pretty excited for him. So we do offer a lot of things. I just recommend people coming into the Work One office and seeing what we can do for them.